everyone, I'm Anna, your knowledge host. Today I'll talk about the business of recycling. The stereotypical image of recycling brings to mind garbage, waste or dirt. However, do you know what is sustainable fashion? That is when you make new clothes out of used ones. It's recycling, but it is also fashion. And you won't believe that used books can be so beautifully displayed on a shelf at a bookstore. That's the recycling of books. Moreover, you can buy excellent quality furniture at a modest price and with a modern touch. And a little secret, it's made out of used furniture. Welcome to the beautiful new world of recycling. Kuan is the founder of Storyware. It is a zero-waste fashion shop. They use used denim to put several pieces together into one, making a new denim wear, because making a brand new denim wear could cause heavy pollution and damage to our planet. Majoring in fashion management in college, Kuan now wants to make some contribution to save our Earth and to give the consumer an alternative option. In the beginning, in January, we have had a flash mob shop called Zero Waste Fashion FMS. All the items inside have to be zero wasted. Even the cashier table was made of recycled wood. Moreover, we didn't provide plastic bags, only second-hand paper bags. Even the tags on the denim were made of recycled paper with seeds inside. Yes, the paper would really grow if you buried it underground. So the tags are made of seeded paper as well. Second-hand clothes claim zero waste, meaning that the garbage will be the source of the next generation products. With the same idea, the Taipei city government is also refurbishing abandoned material into usable goods. This beautiful furniture is very popular and buyers have to bid on the net to buy. They are not easy to get. Other than furniture, resource recycling team of DEP Taipei also use abandoned bicycles to make second-hand products. It was in 2003 we found that on the trucks we took and delivered bulk wastes. There was a lot of furniture. In fact, it was almost as intact as a new one. It would be too bad to burn it all out as garbage. So we refurbished a lot of this furniture to donate to mid-low-income households. Unexpectedly, this initiative is really appealing to the public due to its excellent quality. Eventually, we started up a showroom to sell refurbished furniture. To revamp used goods into new merchandise is becoming a trend. Not only furniture and clothes can be renewed, but also the books we no longer read can be reused to make a new life. For Molly, the second-hand bookstore, their customers are not only buying books, but also buying the value of new lives, including the new life of the knowledge and the new life of the children they supported through purchasing. We are uh, making a more value about the selling books. That more people, you are not just selling your books, you are doing the recycle for our environment also, in the same time. So I think uh, this is why people they want to buy the book from Molly. But for Zhou Xiangju, Camille Wu has a different idea about used books. She likes to collect out-of-print books and used-age books written by famous writers. For her, used books are memory, and memory is invaluable. Traditionally speaking, she is running an antique bookstore, and antique books are not second-hand books. For instance, sometimes we will have some customers who are very adorable. One was standing in front of the bookshelf and said, Whoa, it seems that there is one copy of that book at my grandpa's home. What? It is so expensive now. I think that he might just look around these books every time he goes there. He might not have the internet to take it out to read. However, if one day he found that the book is very expensive, it's very reasonable, you know. It's just like someone tells you that this one is very precious. You would like to know how precious it is, right? That's the niche Camille Wu is making with used books. But we have found that the unsold but edible food is more popular than books in the business of recycling. Environmental Protection Administration is leading the way. 
they encourage people to treasure all kinds of food material, no matter how bad looking it might be. It means that there is no food waste at all. Any edible food, such as this. Although they are the same cucumbers, but in the market, we will buy this kind. Since we spend the same amount of money, we would like to pick this kind. I tell you what, this kind is also edible. Nutrition won't be less. Calories are still the same. Do you believe that in one year, according to Taiwan National Statistics reports, each family in Taiwan wastes the food in the amount of 30,000 NT dollars? If 8,700,000 households in Taiwan could well use the waste of food, we can have more than 261 billion NT dollars to use for our social welfare per year. Multinational superstore giant Carrefour from France is one of the food waste recycling leaders in Taiwan. They give unused food a second chance and get it to the people who need it most. Lin, public relations manager of Carrefour Taiwan, told us that they provide food and refrigerators to the communities in need. One third of food was wasted globally, among which a large part of the food was wasted in the middle of selling. Being a major channel, we are deeply aware of the severity of the problem. That's why we started about three to four years ago. Care for Taiwan wishes to extend the life of those unsold or readily scraped products with an unharmed good status to extend their life. We collaborate with many food banks to open this unsold food donation project. Xin Feng is the founder of Xinfu Food Bank at Nanjichang of Taipei City. Xinfu is the first food bank in Taiwan. Chi Fan collaborates with multinational superstore Carrefour to give out unsold food to neighbors in need. You know what? We share 1,412 kilograms of bread last week. What does it mean? One town. A thousand kilograms is one town. We used only five days to share them. More than a thousand kilograms of bread. Without this mechanism, would it a thousand and more kilograms of bread being thrown into scrap food bucket? You know, the DEP Taipei will incinerate scrap food in the end. There are too many to compost. The overspending phenomena caused by oversupply has triggered many problems of environmental pollution in society. OECD assumes that in 2060, based on the current consumption patterns, we might have to confront triple environmental pollution, triple deterioration. Our future economy, even human beings, will possibly be destroyed by environmental pollution triggered by oversupply. Oversupplied products have caused overwhelmed pollution and devastation. We need to take action to save our Earth. No more exploitation of natural resources. We can use the reusable materials for production instead. Recycling is becoming a fashion trend. Through the production of zero-waste fashion wear, refurbished furniture, value-added used books, and delicious unsold food, recycling materials are making our world more colorful and more sustainable. I'm Anna. Thanks for watching this knowledge episode. You'll find more on Funday website. See you next time.